I'd rather have my head stuck in the clouds than buried in the mound. Feet touching the asphalt, back will touch the ground. You watch about that trash talk, my hands speaking loud. The crowd sound is drowning our conversation now. I know what I'm about to do, can't coma induce. But look, I try not to lose, what else is there to do? I'm a fighter, hard like barbed wire, sharp the same way. I'm tired, but get energized when the crowd say showbiz, boom, by yay. Showbiz, boom, by yay, my style's the my defense impregnable There's no B plan when the A plan is doable My ritual, jump rope, heavy bag, cut rope I'm the best in the world because my ego says so A fighter, I am lost in this whirlwind This make-believe world where it's a stand to be a grown man Look, I never read a book, bruh, I must admit I'm about that grit and that dumb shit Where your head's on some drum shit Body got bambi legs, ears on some hum shit Later getting medicated, urine on some blood Shit. I want wildest power with Devin, Devin Haney's defense. defense. know what day it is y'all know what day it is huh yeah hmm? Hmm? yeah hmm? it's taco tuesday hey, baby, hey, baby. what's up my people this is showbiz uh, don't all right man look 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 at what we got here. Who do we have here? Oh, we about to catch a body. What kind of body? A J body. What's going on with you? Let me see. Uh, um, uh, uh, Sports Hulk. What's going on with you? Whoops. Hey, right, man. Look. First, <laughs> first, I want to say this. <laughs> if you guys have not do done it, please close out the chat, hit the like, and give it up for the Barnett Hill. Hit the Tyson bell. <laughs> okay, let's talk. Uh, wait a minute. First, I want to say this. Ah! <laughs> and that's the Canadian dry. Uh, no sugar. <sighs> okay, man. Look. <laughs> wait, wait. We got to play the voice. We got to play the voice song. First and foremost, we got to play the damn boy song. Hold on. Wait a minute. Hey, hit Ready, it. don't. Good God, I'm boys. I'm boys. Yes, I am. Let me see. What bad say? Poor DJ Arrow uh, got his ass whooped. Flank about to get his ass whooped. Ryan losing his damn mind and probably going to get his ass whooped by Devin. Send this man flowers. Uh -huh. We, uh, hey, get, uh, get well good card and some chocolate. Get to Tyson Bell. Yeah, I know, man. I know. I, that's who I, I feel sorry for the, mo the most. But he's focused on Frank. All right? And uh, hopefully Ryan Garcia gets focused and we'll talk about fighting. I'm not going to discuss Ryan Garcia um, and all this outside shit. I told you guys before, I just don't do that. So no matter how much you guys bring up Ryan Garcia and that outside shit, I'm not on it. You know, I didn't talk about Jared Anderson and what's going on with his outside shit. It's just not me. I talk about boxing. I don't really, you know, talk about shit I don't know anything about. All right? Hit the Tyson Bell. Also, I am more, more focused on boxing. I am more concerned about boxing than all that other shit. All right? Hit the Tyson Bell. I ain't got that kind of time. All right? And that's how I've always been. Don't act surprised now. But, <laughs> but, <laughs> let's talk about some boxing. And Floyd Money Mayweather. That's why we're here, bitch. Let's, yes, Floyd. <laughs> and Floyd Money Mayweather. He spoke on Terrence Bud Crawford. And he was absolutely right. <laughs> a 
everything Floyd Mayweather said, we've said in this community. Absolutely right. I have never agreed more with Floyd Money Mayweather than what he was going through. What's that? Yesterday, talking to fight hype over the damn phone. He was absolutely right. 100 damn percent. The problem is, he was a damn hypocrite. <laughs> Which? Which? We're going to prove today that the Floyd Mayweather effect left boxing in a worse state, and he agrees. <laughs> indirectly he agrees and if you are on the Mayweather team and you here now you like showbiz kiss my ass and I'm like I understand <laughs> can ask your boy that's where you get your bag from a new member my, 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 my. hit the Tyson bell all right but the re boxing is in a worse state because the Floyd Mayweather effect and everything he said we're going to kind of like show how he was being a hypocrite and how fighters today was following that. Hit the Tyson Bell. <laughs> Leaving boxing in a lesser uh, quality state. But at the same time, what he did say, he was absolutely correct. And I agree with him. We're about to catch a body. What kind of body? A J body. Hit the Tyson Bell. Thank you so much for gifting the membership. And I haven't given my love yet. I haven't given the love yet. Hold on. Wait a second. I got to give love to the lady. Oh, let me see. Um, Another uh gifted membership. You guys ready to talk? We're also going to talk about Saul Canelo Alvarez working, negotiating back with the PBC. We're just going to give one last oh. Uh, on that Daka Rone Pesa. We'll talk about that too. And then we'll kind of go around a little bit about the state of boxing right now. We do what we do. Let me see. Uh, he said Crawford versus Benavidez. LOL. Like, what the F? I actually agree with it. <laughs> I agree with it, but he was being a hypocrite. Let's get started. Let's get started. Everybody want to get started right now. I was trying to wait for the thousand people to show up. But let's not do that. Let's just get to it. And then they'll get to it late. And then they'll get moist in the comments and miss our whole argument. And then we may have to repeat what we've already said with them. Okay. So, look. Let's start with this comment he said about Crawford versus David Benavidez. And I thought about this. If he wanted to go to 168 and he want to fight Canelo bad and Benavidez want to fight Canelo bad, they can't get Canelo. They can fight each other. Benavidez. Crawford. Whoa, um, wait a minute. I'm sure that both of you guys are chasing one fighter. If y'all feel like y'all chasing him and y'all can't get that fighter, mm -hmm. then y'all should say, fuck, we'll fight each other. Damn. Floyd Mayweather absolutely right. And Floyd Mayweather said that he thought about that. Well, you didn't think about that alone. A lot of us in this community were saying the same damn thing. If you can fight at 168, if that's what you want to do, why not campaign? If you can fight there, why not campaign? Beat the Mexican monster. That'll be one hell of a statement. David Benavidez wants Canelo. Canelo Alvarez is ducking him. Terrence Bud Crawford wants Canelo. Canelo was fine with fighting Errol the True Spence, which was a part of that three-fight deal on the PBC. But since Terrence Crawford whipped that ass, he's not going to fight Terrence Crawford. Terrence Crawford just a welterweight to him. Not Errol Spence, huh? With that said, why don't y'all fight each other? That makes sense to me. If you can fight at 168, hold on. Let me see what you have to say. Uh, Naganu versus Joshua are fighting this week. That's right, Friday. Are you planning to cover more of that fight and those on the undercard like uh, Jean versus Parker? That's what I do, and I'll be doing that today. Just give us a little time on this podcast because I, I cover some of it today. Uh, let me see. Uh, the name of the song is After Party for you youngest. You ain't lying. Roll out. <laughs> Listen, I'm just saying. I'm saying David Benavidez, Duck, and David Morrell. Whatever. Okay, let's just say, let, let me agree with you. David Benavidez, Duck, and David Morrell. Okay, 
Now let's talk about what Floyd Mayweather just said. Crawford versus David Benavidez. I'm going to tell you this. If Terrence Bud Crawford versus David Benavidez was announced, you guys in the war room, would you be excited and be like, damn, Terrence Crawford's a real one? Or would you hate that fight? How will you feel about Terrence Crawford if it was announced tomorrow that Crawford and David Benavidez was going to fight? Would you be lit and say Crawford is a real gladiator? Yes or no? Hell yeah! You will say he's a real one. Not one of you would be disappointed. Y'all be like, what? That would be, it wouldn't matter if Terrence Crawford got his head beat in. Just him fighting David Benavidez and agreeing to that shit, y'all would say Terrence Crawford is the GOAT, period. Hit the Tyson Bay. <laughs> Which means, Floyd Mayweather was absolutely right. He was absolutely right. Genuinely, who you got? Crawford versus Benny. I think Benny beats the hell out of him. I think Canelo beats the hell out of him. But that's not the point. The point is the fight, not what show biz the adult think about the result. Now let's move forward to Floyd Mayweather's other point about Crawford versus Boots. You know, I know there's still that guy, Jerron Boots Ennis, floating around. It's that younger name. Floating around at, at, at welterweight, I, I know, you know. I think it'll be, I think they'll be a hell of a fight. Mm -hmm. uh, both say this. Just like, like, like we always say, we got somebody got to give you a chance. Somebody got to give you an opportunity and a chance. So somebody got to give Boots the opportunity and a chance. So it's, it's been difficult for Crawford to get that Spence fight done. It's been difficult for him to get the Canelo fight done. So his other option is probably Boots say this sounds like this community let me see he pulled out the duran in him that's right sounds like this community makes sense to me floyd mayweather is absolutely correct <laughs> we've been saying this forever you can't fight him you can't get a fight with him boots ennis somebody got to give him a chance Somebody got to fight him. Who's better than Terrence Bud Crawford? I've often said this, okay? he That would make him three-time undisputed in a four-belt era. Also, I've said this. As long as you're an active fighting champion, defend your titles. As long as you're an active fighting champion, defend your titles. Floyd Mayweather. Absolutely correct. Hit the Tyson Bell. If it was announced tomorrow, Crawford versus Boots Ennis, would y'all say Crawford's a real one? Would y'all be excited? Yes or no? Hit the Tyson Bell. Well, all of you Crawford fanboys would be like, well, why don't y'all act, 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 shut up? Crawford wasn't ducking nobody. This proves it. Would y'all, everybody would be happy with that fight? Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes. Hit the Tyson Bell. Meaning that Floyd Mayweather was absolutely correct. Let's move forward. Let's move forward. Let's move forward. What did Floyd Mayweather say about the reason why Terrence Crawford may not fight Boots and why he should? Check this out. Is that right now? And you know, you were still getting paid a shit ton of money to fight Canelo, whereas I don't I don't necessarily know if Crawford would make that kind of money against Jerron Ennis. So is that something where you just kind of look at the business? If you're Crawford, you just kind of look at the business and say, but, but, maybe but, not. But I'm saying, but I'm saying, is it, you got you to gotta realize, you, you got to check, you got to ask yourself, is it about, is it about the legacy? Is it about the money? Is it about both? You know, I'm not in these fighters' heads, so I don't know. But if, if you want to fight, fight him. If you, if you do want to fight him, fight him. If you don't, then don't fight him. Mm -hmm. Fight somebody else. Is it currency? Is it legacy? Is it a little bit of both? Meaning that if Crawford were to fight Boots, it would be for legacy. What are you about? Hit the Tyson Bell. If Crawford were to fight Boots, it would be about legacy. What are you about? Hit the Tyson Bell. Hey, I've often said legacy over currency. We all know when you're ducking somebody, Terrence Bud Crawford fighting Boots, that would be for legacy. Floyd Mayweather's like, what you about? He's absolutely correct. 
Let's move on to the next point that Floyd Mayweather said. Check this out. We, we have to go back to the to the old school. And I say the old school meaning um in which we are we are getting back to that, you know. And and, and for a while I thought that it wasn't like that, but a lot of a lot of these good good fighters fight each other and a lot of these great fighters they fight each other. But what we gotta do is we gotta cut down with all these belts. It's too many champions. Maybe get back to the old school. Mm. It's too it's too many champions. It's too many champions. We gotta get back to the old school. Floyd Mayweather. Absolutely correct. <laughs> what have we been saying here? Floyd Mayweather, he's talking his shit. He's right about Terrence Crawford and Benavidez. If you want to campaign at 168, what's the problem? He's right about Terrence Crawford versus Boots. He's right about legacy and currency. He's right about too many belts. This guy is damn right. And I've been saying this. Absolutely correct. But I've also been using Floyd Mayweather's career to prove my points. The Floyd Mayweather effect. That's why now we're going to point out the hypocrisy. We're going to point out why he was all absolutely right. But why he was also being a hypocrite. Y'all ready? <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't know. I don't know if y'all ready. I don't know if y'all ready. Hold on. Are y'all ready? Are y'all re re ready? Hit the Tyson bell. Right the wrong. Right the wrong. Beautiful point from Chick. People have selected, uh-huh, my man, Leo. Hold on, brother. Hold on, brother. <laughs> Flex on him. See, 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 see. Left hand on you. Left hand on you. Left hand on you. Pow, King Kong ain't got on me. My man, Leo, said, think ye is the one who's giving out our secrets to flow. Oh, shit. Because <laughs> uh, we've been saying this. <laughs> we've been saying this. My man Leo, absolutely right. Thank you so much, brother, for the hundred dollars. That's amazing. Y'all ready? Let the moistness start. Uh oh, let the moistness start. Let the damn moistness. I'm moist. I'm moist. Call and response. I said I'm moist. I'm moist. Good God, I'm moist. I'm moist. Yes, I am. Hold on. Let's see what Matt has to say. Uh, I personally could care less if Crawford fights Boots or not. Okay. He's planning on fighting Tim Zhu uh, from what I hear. So either way, he's a badass. Fine. He's, 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 one of, he's looking to fight the winner between uh, Keith Thoyman and Tim Zhu. So I, I, from what I heard, he bet if he, if he, you saw what happened with Canelo and Jamel. If, if Keith Thoyman beats the hell out of Tim Zhu, then I will want him to fight Keith Thurman. Hey, man, uh, not usually uh, up at this time, so have a good stream, my my man. Uh, Ryan Garcia tweeting out 100 notifications uh, in an hour, woke me up. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> and I don't really care much. Uh, let me see. If Bud is so skilled, uh, as you say, uh, he beat Dave Benavidez easy. Right, right, that's not, no. But listen, listen, y'all ready for the hypocrisy? Let's talk about the hypocrisy. First, Let's talk about what Floyd Mayweather said about Crawford versus Benny and the hypocrisy there. And I thought about this. If he wanted to go to 168 and he want to fight Canelo bad and Benavidez want to fight Canelo bad, they can't get Canelo. They can fight each other. Benavidez and Crawford. Whoa, wait a minute. <laughs> Say to Floyd Mayweather about ever getting him in the ring. You know, I'm not too big, Max. You know, my... 30 days before my fight, like I 65, you know, my drink. And yesterday after sparring, I 64, you know, special for Floyd. Of course, I won't go into 154 or 160 if you want. A little too ironic. And yeah, I really do think. Ah, here's a Tyson Bale. <laughs> a little too ironic. 
Face fast. Hold on, let me see. Let me see. Uh, Boots and Benavidez aren't pound for pound, though. That's why he wants uh, Nella. Oh, okay. Listen. When it came to Floyd Mayweather, he wasn't trying to see that Triple G. I can't go up there. Floyd Mayweather, he started at 130. Triple G was at 160. But you want Terrence Bud Crawford, who started at 135, to fight David Benavidez at 168? It's a little too ironic. <laughs> now listen. Listen. Floor, you are absolutely correct. That sounds good to the warrior and the boxing fans, but you ain't do that shit, and that's why we say stuff like this in the community. <laughs> Maybe Terrence Crawford would have thought about doing that shit if you didn't have the Floyd Mayweather effect. It's a little too ironic. <laughs> Let me see. Let me see what you have to say. <laughs> Let me see what you have to say. <laughs> Flex on them. Beers just wanted to thank you because I'm having a really bad time. Uh-huh. Not being able to fight for the last few months. Much love, brother. You'll be good, man. Losing friends to bad situations. And your podcast helps me a lot. Love you, boy. Uh, been a fan since 2019. Love from Italy. From Italy. Love you, boy. Hit the Tyson band. <laughs> Get his ass, Beers. Oh, yeah. Hey. We ain't done yet. What did Terrence Bud Crawford say about Boots Ennis? Is it a little ironic? Like, like we always say, we got somebody got to give you a chance. Somebody got to give you an opportunity and a chance. So somebody got to give Boots the opportunity and a chance. So it's, it's been difficult for Crawford to get the Spence fight done. It's been difficult for him to get the Canelo fight done. So his other option is probably Boots Ennis. <laughs> You know, I'm a, I'm a young, strong champion, Floyd. Come get it. I'm undefeated like you, baby. Come take my O, baby. Come take my O. I'm ready. I'm ready. We'll go back to camp right now. We'll go right back to camp, baby. You see my six-pack? Man, outside of Floyd, there's a lot of great champions in the Walter Wade division, and they know who to call. His name is Al Heyman. Call Al Heyman, baby. Thank you so much for this opportunity, and I'm looking forward to other opportunities. I beat this fighter, I can beat any fighter. We got somebody got to give you a chance. Somebody got to give you an opportunity and a chance. So somebody got to give Boots the opportunity and a chance. A little too ironic. And yeah, I really do think. A little too ironic. It's a nice mail. Wait, you think somebody should give Boots a damn chance? Did you give Keith one time? His damn chance! Hit the Tyson man. You want to get give Boots a chance? Somebody give Boots. Wait a damn second. Rewind. Did you give Keith one time? Swimming. His damn chance. The Floyd Mayweather effect. Maybe that's why nobody want to give Boots his damn chance. Hold on, hold on. Let me see what y'all have to say. Let me see what y'all have to say. <laughs> Let me see what y'all have to say. Uh, do you think Mayweather duck Winky Wright? Of course he did. That's the one duck I, I'm sure he did. All right, him and Keith one time. Dwayne and hit Tyson Bell. What my man say? Uh, Floyd fought Canelo at 36, and my Canelo was money. I'm talking about giving Boots a chance. See that? Here comes the oh shit, the moist. Here comes the moist. Here comes the moist. I'm talking about giving Boots a chance. Did you give Keith one time? Doing me his damn, not Canelo, who got a ton of money. That fight was humongous. I'm talking about giving somebody a chance. You gave Berto a chance. I'm though. moist. I'm moist. Call and response. I said I'm moist. I'm moist. Good God, I'm moist. I'm moist. Wait a second. Boots Ennis, he was the IBF mandatory. Boots Ennis, now he's the IBF champion. Keith one time, Thoyman was the WBA mandatory. Floyd Mayweather, he was, what did he do? He graduated from WBA regular champion to the super WBA champion, which allowed him to avoid Keith one time, Thoyman. The same shit y'all get on Loma for and saying that Teofimo Lopez is no longer undisputed because of the franchise title. That's exactly what Floyd Mayweather did to Keith one time, Thoyman's ass. Oh, but it's okay when Floyd do it. No, no, no. A little too ironic. Hold on. Let me see. Let me see. It, it, it's getting damp. It's getting damp. It's getting damp. A member for 18 eight months. Thank you so much, my brother. Love you like a play cousin. Uh, let me see. What up, Unc Biz? What's going on, brother? Just stopping by to share my Taco Tuesday menu. I'm having duck tacos. Beautiful. And a slice of duck around a pizza. Hysterical. Hysterical. Hit the Tyson bear. 
a little too ironic. Hold on, hold on. We're not done. You thought we were done? You thought we were done? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You thought we were done? How about what Floyd Mayweather said about currency and legacy? You gotta check, you gotta ask yourself, is it about is it about the legacy? Is it about the money? Is it about both? You know, I'm not in these fighters' heads, so I don't know. But if if you wanna fight, fight him. If you if you do want to fight him, fight him. If you don't, then don't fight him. Mm. Fight somebody else. My philosophy is never stop getting it. Currency over legacy. Currency over legacy. A little too ironic. And yeah, I really do think. A little too ironic. It's a slice of bell. So you mean to tell me that you're advising for Terrence Bud Crawford to give Boots a chance, but you say never stop getting it. Currency over legacy. Let me tell you something, brother. They all got it from you. <laughs> the Floyd Mayweather effect. Terrence Crawford is in silk pajamas getting all of the green print shit from you. <laughs> I'm happy you see now, though, that boxing got to get what? Boxing got to get to the old school? That boxing got to get back to the old school? We've been saying that for years. Hold on, hold on. I think it's ironic. What we got to do is we got to cut down with all these belts. It's too many champions. They get back to the old school. Mm. It's, too, it's too many champions. In the least amount of fights, you know, I didn't have to have 70 fights or 150 fights, 300 fights. D did I did I not beat the most world champions? Yes, you did. Okay. A little too ironic. And yeah, I really do think. A little too ironic. When I was face to face with Floyd Money Mayweather and he said, well, how many champions did Sugar Ray Robinson beat? I said, hold on, Floyd, there was only one belt back. He said, answer the question. How many champions did Sugar Ray Robinson? I said, listen, there's too many belts now. Floyd is politics. He said, answer the question. A little too ironic. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something, Floyd. <laughs> Love you like a play cousin. The Mayweather team, you guys know we're like this. I'm happy we're back home. Huh? Hit the Tyson bell. I'm happy we're back home. Come on home. Listen, it ain't never too late, Floyd. You got it right now. We got to get back to old school. Floyd, you and I, we can rock like play cousins. We can make this happen, baby. We now we're talking the same. Now we're talking the same, except for you're an all-time fighter. I ain't shit, but a fan. But at least we're talking the same. We're all looking in the same direction now. It ain't never too late. Floyd Mayweather, all-time great fighter. It ain't never too late. Hit the Tyson Bell. What the chick say? It's time to right your damn wrong. Floyd Mayweather never meant for the whole boxing world to follow him like that. He would never meant for the Floyd Mayweather effect to have that type of effect. Floyd Mayweather was just giving an explanation on why he's moving the way he's moving. And it helped make him TBE to think about Floyd. He also had integrity. Look at his resume. Amazing. Look at his boxing ability. Amazing. He didn't expect all these people to be followers and not do exactly what he did. They looked at the Floyd Mayweather effect. The effect of Floyd Mayweather is what they follow. Floyd Mayweather was just talking shit for himself. For you guys to understand where he's coming from so he can get to the damn bag. And for you to appreciate the type of career he's had. Hit the Tyson Bell. But now he's seen the Floyd Mayweather effect. Y'all trying to be like me and y'all ain't like me. Now Floyd is talking that real shit. We got to get back to old school. It's time to right the wrongs, baby. Hit the Tyson Bell. And that's all I want to say about that. Let me see. Uh, what up, Biz? Uh, Flo and uh, Yeezy. What the? Uh, let me see. Uh, if, <laughs> uh, oh, Florida. Okay, okay. If uh, boxers uh, want to make the big fights uh, like they claim, why not just go sit in front of uh, the prince and say uh, they ask in private? Dear Floyd, uh, you know you done messed up, don't you? <laughs> you know. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, 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 hold on. Wait a minute, where we at? Where we at? Here it is. But you don't remember what they. What they look. But you bought the bottle of beer, definitely at twelve 
15. Yeah, it was 12, 15, exactly. If I'm not mistaken, it was Now you see something. Now you see now. You done fucked up, you know that, don't you? You see now, <laughs> what did chick say? How many tacos, this is a riddle, how many tacos will Boots be able to buy with a Crawford fight? Ha! It all depends. If he talks to turkey, a whole lot of tacos, some turkey tacos. Uh, let me see. I believe uh, the fighters today want to be Floyd, but want to skip the steps. Absolutely. Absolutely. Best movie ever. Now. There were a lot of you who saw my thumbnail yesterday. I posted it and people start crying already. Do y'all get my point now? That's ironic uh, song. It, not it, boss. I love that song. I, I really, I'm sorry. I love the song and the video. That was my shit. And that was more said was dope, but I'm very bright. All right. But with that said, oh, that dude is fire. I loved him. Like, I just want to know. Does it make sense to you guys a little bit? Does my argument make sense to you guys a little bit? You don't have to agree with everything I say. And Maria, hey, 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 hey. you see Maria? She said, I love that damn song. Y'all better, y'all want to get to the women? <laughs> y'all want to get to the women? Y'all got to, y'all got to expand a little bit. Look around a little bit. Have some culture about you. Let me see. Uh, you talk about Haney being uh, a Diddy victim yet? Yeah, I don't talk about no dumb shit like that. Uh, let me see. Uh, it's it's like Ray, 100%. Yeah, y'all get it? Floyd uh, Duckweather, I'm not on that. Your argument makes sense, but it has some holes in it. Fine. All right? Because I'm not going to go too thick. If, if you need all that, then you're moist. All right? Uh, let me see. Uh, the boots, uh, tacos, truck, y'all get it? Factuals. Can we move on? That's wild, bro. Can we move on? <laughs> Y'all ready to move on? We're going to talk about Canelo next. I see there's a lot of moisture in there. And you guys know this is an unbiased community. Going to talk about Canelo next. Y'all ready? Look like we can move on. Yes, everybody said let's move the hell on. Yeah, we're ready. Okay, we're ready. Hold on. Let's start with some receipts. Let's start with some receipts right here. Hold up. Hold up. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I got to hit y'all with a receipt. Where the damn... Oh, here it is. Receipts, mother <laughs> Eddie Hearn. You know, if you're calling out Benavidez, he's across the street. Mm -hmm. so you could have been able to, if, when you had Canelo, why wasn't he Because the PBC him? don't want to work with anyone. And now they're <laughs> fucked. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The PBC don't want to work with anyone. but And now they're, yep. Yeah. Oh, let me see. That thumbnail with uh, Boots punching on Bud make me moist. I'm pretty I'm pretty sure. You, you felt like you got punched. I'm, I'm pretty sure. All right? Listen. I, Canelo was talking with Matchroom. Now he's back talking to the, B, the, the PBC. And here's a word uh, from Canelo Alvarez. Gotcha, bitch. <laughs> Listen. Let me tell you something. Canelo Alvarez, he sets the standard. Canelo Alvarez dictates what he wants. And everybody got their greedy palms out because they need some of that Canelo Alvarez money. When people talk about <laughs> when, people, when people talk about the PBC and how the PBC offered that three fight deal, no David Benavidez was there. It was up to Canelo to accept it. But now it looks like Canelo Alvarez was requesting no David Benavidez in the first place, which is why when the PBC tried to amend it to add David Benavidez so they could recoup some money's loss on Canelo Alvarez fighting Charlo, Canelo Alvarez said, bye, going to match room. Now, I'm not sure what happened with the negotiations with Canelo Alvarez and match room, but he came right back to the PBC and PBC learned from Canelo Alvarez. Then we're not going to offer David Benavidez. We're going to offer you Jame Magia, and you still can fight your Jamal Charlo. <laughs> duck pies. A duck a pizza. Now, there's a lot of you Canelo fanboys out there who are saying, uh, showbiz, why didn't you mention 
the $5 million offer to David Benavidez? Well, I, I have. David Benavidez, he accepted the offer. But you don't have to believe me because we got the damn receipts. David Benavidez with the receipts, take it away. People kept criticizing me, saying that I only want to pay day this and that. I've been making good money, bro, for fucking like seven years. Really good money. PBC and Al Heyman have taken care of me. So what they were offering Canelo, they were offering him close to 60 million. I think that's even before pay-per-view buys. After pay-per-view buys, it would have been a fucking killing. I wasn't getting nothing from nothing, no percentage. I was getting a, a, a fee of uh, five million dollars. I pay out all my people. I think I'm left over with 3.5 before taxes. You know what I mean? So I was fine with that. I was completely fine with that. This guy was taking everything. He was literally taking everything. And I'm not saying that he shouldn't. I mean, if he's entitled to, he's entitled. I don't give a fuck. I wanted the opportunity. He took it. 92 to 8 split. $5 million for David Benavidez. 3.5 before taxes. He would have ended up with a little bit over a million dollars. Just for the opportunity. He accepted it. Everybody, Canelo fanboys, he accepted it. He just wanted the opportunity. This guy would damn, he was getting done in with that deal. Done in, no Vaseline. But he just wanted the opportunity. He'd do it for free. You guys don't see it? You guys don't see how Canelo's moving with David Benavidez? I know he's your boy. Listen, I, I, I want to say this. I want to say this. I want to say this. DuckTales Alvarez is looking real bad. The bottom line is he has to fight Benny. No one else is acceptable. 100%. But I, I, I just want to say this. I want to say this. You Floyd, I mean, you Canelo Alvarez fanboys. The reason why y'all going so hard and lying to yourselves and trying to have us to believe the shit that you're lying to yourself about, which we're too smart for that. We're too alpha for that. You're too busy trying to convince yourself. You're not going to convince us. But the reason why you're doing it isn't for Canelo. It's to protect yourself for being a Canelo fan. That's why y'all taking it so personally. Listen, you can be a Canelo fan. I'm a Canelo fan. Canelo is an all-time great fighter. You can be his fan. At the same time, just know he dunked David Benavidez. It shouldn't hurt you that you're fan. I'm not attacking you. You don't have to defend yourself as a fan of Canelo. I'm a fan of Canelo. My wife is a fan of Canelo. My kids are fans of Canelo. Canelo has had a great career, and he's laying down a beautiful legacy, and he's ducking David Benavidez. It, it, it can all be okay. It is what it is. Lying about some shit that's obvious to protect the fact that you're a fan of his, you ain't got to do that. It's okay being a fan of his. You can be a fan of his. And he ducked. No? It's just a fact. It's all right. People do that with Floyd Mayweather when I, when I put the thumbnail up. You're not protecting Floyd. He doesn't know you. He don't give a shit. What you're doing is defending yourself as a Floyd fan. Be a Floyd fan. He's one of my greatest fighters, my favorite fighters ever. He's who I think he's one of the greatest fighters of all time. I love Floyd as a fighter. It doesn't mean I got to lie to myself. I ain't got to lie to y'all. For who? Who am I fooling? The, we got the receipts on everything. His words are very well documented. So is Canelo. You can be a fan, but you can also tell the truth. Let me see. I don't care who uh, Nello talks to, just fight David. I'm saying, that's all, the real McCoy. I still believe that the Mexican monster is the real people's champ, and his payday will last longer than anyone, especially once he, if uh, he ever achieved the glory of stomping the mud hole and cinnamon. Hit the Tyson Bell.
he really thinks that he could be an all-time great fighter. I do too. I think David Benavidez can very possibly be an all-time great fighter. Here comes the Canelo fanboy. Uh, laugh my ass off, Biz. That's lies. You don't take five million, then sign another fight a week later. I ain't no fanboy, but that makes no sense. How do you accept? Then don't wait for the answer. That's just stupid. No, that's smart. He is in the boxing circles. You and I, well, I'm in the boxing circles, but you're further out. All right? David Benavidez, I will accept the five. But if you are really getting the notion from the PBC, from Al Heyman, from everybody, that this Canelo Alvarez, who signed a three-fight deal that didn't include you, who will leave an amended deal that includes you, then why, wait for what? Leonardo. You probably have the mentality where you will wait tooth and nail for another man. David Benavidez is like, this man ain't going to fight me. Why waste my damn time? It's time for me to go be great and go have a fight. That's what we were talking about with Terrence Bud Crawford. No need to wait on Errol Spence. He's not ready, man. The fights ain't going to happen. Fight boots. Canelo, he ain't going to fight you. So fight boots. David Benavidez, Canelo ain't fighting you, bro. Bet I fight Volsic and I go for the winner between Bilbo and Better BF. For undisputed at light heavyweight. Sometimes you got to pave your own road. If you can't, if you are an alpha and you're a fighter and you feel that you're too man enough to have to sit on the shoulders of another man for you to be successful, then you will pave your own way. If that's your instincts, Leonardo, you won't get that. That's not how you're made. But many of us who are built that way get exactly why David Benavidez moved the way he did. You're getting, right? You're getting it from, from, the, from insiders. That he's not going to fight you. 92-8 split. He's not going to fight you. I'm out. Because if Canelo really wanted to fight David Benavidez, they would have fought already. And that's the black two sugars. Nobody passes up that Canelo money. Nobody passes. People get their asses whipped for that Canelo money. David Benavidez wouldn't pass up no Canelo payday. Payday. Canelo Alvarez, if he wanted to fight David, they would have fought. Like I said, Leonardo, spend a lot of time, as much time as you can, to tell yourself these lies and convince yourself. Get the Tyson Bell. I love Canelo. Not as much as you do. You seem to be in there pretty deep. Uh, but I do love Canelo. I think he's a great fighter. But I ain't going to lie to myself. Let me see. Crack, 100%. 100%. Let me see. What do you think off Alter Better BF versus a Mexican monster would do? Uh, I mean, who do you have winning? Just shit. I, I got I gotta see him versus Bibble. That looks like one I, I would be more than excited to see that fight announced. Let me see. Canelo uh won't be fighting this year. I say 2024. Uh let me see. Canelo and Floyd both ducked, but Tank uh, fangirls uh, can't talk. Uh, yeah, now now you're going after, you know, who 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 got the worst fangirls? You know what I mean? I don't, with Tank, I can only say positive things. When it comes to it, his fanboys, bro, if I say anything negative, they cry real tears, bro. So I'm, I'm, not, I'm not on that. Let me see. Uh, you Nello fanboys can still be a fanboy if he loses today. That's what I'm saying. Uh, we just want the fight. Same goes for Tank fanboys. Just fight Haney. Whoever wins, it's okay. It's okay. You can still be a fan. I was a fan of Arturo Gatti's. And like I said, I was almost disappointed when he won. Let me see. Canelo fans should be pushing for him uh, to David uh, more than anyone else. Right. If you're a real Canelo fan, the way I am, you want to see Canelo go after the Mexican monster. See him go up against something that great that everybody else is going crazy over. You want to see Canelo in a war. You don't want to just see him because you like his freckles and his red hair. I mean, you may, but I would want to see him in a great fight where he's contested to see this fighter that I think is great do something great. Right? Let me see. Uh, you take him to court, force him to vacate the WBC that erases any doubts, Biz. That's uh, just smart. Uh, then you say duck. That's if you have your whole career consumed by Canelo. So you want him to go to court and everything to prove to you that Canelo, that right there, that statement lets you know that Canelo's ducking. The fact that you 
the Canelo spokesman of the war room need for him to go to court to fight your beloved Canelo. He has to go to court. So that means Canelo ain't trying to get him. Canelo ain't the type to say, everybody want me to fight David Benavidez? I'm about to whoop his ass. That's what we're talking about. You want, you want David Benavidez to chase him all the way to court. Nah, David Benavidez, you're young, you're in your prime. Canelo Alvarez, he made his own legacy. Make your own. Let the chips fall as they may, as they may. The fan base is going to be the ones to let you know if you're great or not. We see it. 2020 vision. Not you. You see Canelo. But I'm talking about the rest of us who ain't got Canelo blinding our vision. We can see. We know what's up, David Benavidez. Go do your thing. Canelo wants to fight Jamal Charlo. All right. Uh, let me see. Uh, where's uh the sparring video of Errol busting up Floyd? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I would love to see that video too. Uh, let me see. My pops just called me laughing hard uh, at your MLK video. Brother, that extremely hysterical. <laughs> let me see. Uh, the IBF belt part uh, may be the scuff. I'm just saying. All right. Yeah, it, that's what I'm saying. Anytime you got a fine tooth comb, not just the principle. Now us fans are talking about politics, fine tooth comb. If you want to fight somebody, you'll fight. That's just it. What did Floyd Mayweather say? Let's get back to old school. Let's bring it back to the basics. If you want to fight somebody, you'll fight them. Y'all talking about uh, if you can go to court and then grip, 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 grip. if you want to fight somebody, you'll fight them, bro. What happened? <laughs> what happened? What happened? Floyd Mayweather effect. Let me see. Uh, David needs to get under Canelo's skin enough to where he's like, I have to fight this guy. I think he should just start dissing him or something. He Listen, Matt, he's doing what he's doing. Everybody know. Everybody know about this. Everybody, you can't get more Canelo's a duck more than it is now. We all, Canelo ain't going to fight him. But what David Benavidez has to do is what he's doing. Shake Canelo off. Ugh. He ain't going to fight me. And my whole career isn't going to be Canelo. That's the problem Triple G made. He made his whole career Canelo. Kept fighting him, fighting him. He was robbed the first fight, went after him. Canelo, 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 Canelo. Now when you think about Triple G, you think about Canelo. When you think about Canelo, you think about his whole career. David Benavidez is doing right. Don't be consumed by Canelo. Pave your own way. Let everybody else sit in that long Canelo line and try to get a Canelo fight. No, he's doing right. Whip Plant's ass. Whip Boo Boo's ass. Let's go up. Whip Bibbles or better BF's ass. Let's, let's work. Don't let another man dictate your life. He tried to fight Canelo. Canelo obviously doesn't want it. Move the hell on and make a, cre a great legacy. Let me see. Uh, there's a big difference between fans and fanboys. 100%. 100%. Because at the end of the day, we're adults, right? David Benavidez is a man at the end of the day. He's his own man. I know I think that way. Listen, you want to do this or no? No? Cool. I'm about to be great anyway. A lot of you guys don't think like that, but I know I do. You want, you want to give me the opportunity? No, then I'll make my own. Hit the Tyson Bell. A lot of people don't get it. They don't get it. Nello, Nello, Nello. Brother, <laughs> let me see. Uh, video edit idea for Canelo. You've got the uh, you got to get the clip from Mighty Ducks where they all start chanting quack. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> now I say I want to troll Canelo. I'm just trying to speak the truth. Also important uh to note uh in that interview, Benavidez said he's not leaving 168 for good, right? Strip Canelo, let Canelo flourish. Yeah, he said he'll do both, right? Uh saying that the US judicial system uh gotta call him a duck first is nuts. I'm saying. He wants, he wants the government to get involved. That's how Leonardo talking. I need the government involved. Oh, let me see. I need Nello. Bird. This is a boxing. This is boxing. Nah, get the, get the government involved so we can believe it. That's how bad these fanboys gotten. I need Nello versus Benny, uh, Bud versus Boots, Haney versus Tank. Uh huh. Bilbo versus Better Be. If all fights need to, uh, all fighters need to fight worthy their opponents and stay active, not just Canelo. Yep, and Bill One Better BF already got that. They're fighting in June. So we already got that out the way. Let me see. Uh, David can become greater than Canelo if he makes his own path. Yep, thinks what Think what if he goes to, uh, like, heavyweight, better BF and Bill. Yeah, keep moving. Go all the way up to heavyweight. Just work. 
<laughs> just work. Let me see. Flex on him. Uh, I want to see David uh, pay-per-view next fight because this – uh, love don't add up to sales same reason uh floyd uh took less against oscar uh because he knew he needed that fight uh to make the money all y'all talking the talk but ain't paying for the fights um you're talking about pay-per-view sales all this love ain't talking about, you're now you're talking against fans now you're fans versus fans leonardo like i said you're 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 slipping you're slipping you done slip you done slip we're not talking about fans versus fans. We're talking about Canelo versus Benavidez. Don't y'all y'all start like I said, you you fanboys defend yourself as a fan of Nello, and that's not what we're talking about. You're okay. You're trying to say, well, how about if you're a real fan? I mean, that now you're talking about you. Get the hell out of here. We're talking about Nello versus Benavidez and getting the fight, getting them to fight. Y'all, and that's and that right there, I knew that was coming. You just exposed yourself, and that's the issue. When I talk unbiasedly, and when we give a boxing anal uh, analysis in this community, y'all start talking shit. All because you're just defending yourself as a fan. You lose what the whole point is, and that's to have Canelo versus Benavidez in the ring. Look at this comment. Look at what you're arguing. You lost sight. You're talking about you. You're talking about you. Well, if y'all really like Benavidez, then you, you're talking about you. Now you're challenging who's a bigger fan. And she's talking about you. We're talking about Nello versus Benavidez. You're not Canelo. All right. Let me see. Uh, being uh, legally called a duck would be legendary. That would be hilarious. Imagine being a duck court documented, LOL. No felonies, but a duck. That's hilarious. <laughs> legally a duck that's hilarious let me see a member for 22 months thank you so much and here's matt uh david benavidez doesn't need canelo uh he has his own fan base and it's growing quickly yep he is already on the road to superstardom if not already hit the tyson bell i'm saying the torch could be passed without him even fighting canelo because we all know the art of fighting without fighting david benavidez won this uh hey leonardo uh are the nello nuts salted <laughs> damn oh shit brother Stop. I love the super chats, but we got to move on. Uh, you, you're a little too consumed. I want the fight, Biz, but uh, David uh, needs him to be a star. David needs him to be a star. Uh, let's not say he don't uh, need the fight. You, he needs to be a star. You see what I'm saying? But but John Ryder doesn't need to be a star. You get where I'm coming from? You get what I'm saying? How many McGee doesn't need to be a star? Berlanga. You get what I'm saying? You get what you're doing? The Floyd Mayweather effect. We just had a whole 30 minutes on it. And here you are talking with that Floyd shit. Floyd just told you we got to get back to old school. And you only talk that Floyd Mayweather effect when it comes to who you love. Your beloved Canelo. Now you agree with the Floyd Mayweather effect. In order for Canelo to be protected, you're defending him by all costs. You're slipping. You done slip. You done slip. Let me see. Uh, chill, Leo, uh, about to take you to court. Yeah, I mean, we, Leo, we're done. We're done. Uh, I'm a Canelo fan, but I don't chew that Canelo pacifier. I'm saying, brother. I'm saying. Let's move on. We got a lot to talk about. Uh, bruh, uh, bruh keeps uh, paying to get roasted. I don't know why. I will stop. <laughs> uh, boxers, uh, box uh, fans, cheers. Uh, what's happening here? Uh, I, I am uh, hoping that Bivol beats better BF so that David can fight him. That would be crazy. I already uh, heard that he whooped his ass and sparred numerous times. That's why I'm here, too. That's why I kind of want David Benavidez versus better BF. If he's already best in Bivol, I want to see him against better BF. All right, hit Tyson Bivol. Okay. Okay, let's move on. Let's move on. I'm happy we got through this. It was going to take a minute. The Ryan Garcia fighter list. This is what I mean. On the fighter list, I added Ryan Garcia at 10. And because of the antics leading up to the Haney fight, many of you said, I want Raymond Ford there. So I put up a poll. I understood what y'all were saying, but I put a poll up. I'll give you guys the results right now. Uh, Ryan said uh, he exposed, uh, bro was done. Yeah. What's that, Gonna? 
yeah, brother, I'm I'm not. But here's what y'all had to say. Y'all said 30, there was 3,700 of you who voted. A whopping 63% wants to keep Ryan Garcia on the fighters list. And the reason why many of you said that y'all wanted Ryan Garcia still to remain on the fighters list is because y'all said the out of ring stuff has nothing to do with the fighter list. The fighter list is about what happens in the ring and who you fight. Now, if he doesn't fight Devin, the American dream, Haney, then we can remove him. And you are absolutely right. A huge percentage of you, because I felt the same way. I just wanted to know what our community thought. The fighters, the fighter list is ours. So I wanted to know what y'all thought. And we are on the same wavelength. Maria, eh, 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 eh. we keep it Ryan Garcia there until if he doesn't fight Devin Haney, but if he does, we'll see how he performs. But we're keeping him there. All right. Okay. Uh, what else we have? Let's move on. I want to show you some shit so we can get back to boxing. Let me show you Devin the American Dream Haney training with Alicia Bumgarner. And let this be love. the Tyson Bale. Forget Twitter. Forget all this other stuff we're talking about. This isn't a soap opera channel. This is a community, the war room about boxing. Let me show you Tyson the Gypsy King Fury. Ah, King, I do a die, King. I take purple to the head like a Viking. Free drinks to a head like a Siamese. We getting drunk in this motherfucking high key. We about to pop off like when you pop the lock off. Brandon got the cannon that'll knock your block and socks off. Jewels that'll fool you. Fools that'll do you. Got two bras in the pool that'll screw you. Who knew that I'll hold a tool that blew through you? The heat is a beast with teeth that'll chew you. I'm not the one you count on with digits on my right arm. Support like the wall that you hook your TV mount on. No, I'ma leave you with six of my people. Holding something lethal, calling the paralegal. You and I ain't equal. Black beers is regal. Black iron man like Howard and Don Cheeto. A lion on the hunt with thumbs and bipedal. Getting high on my verse. My words are drug needle. 500 bottles. Models coming right up with enough sparks to light the nightclub up. If the cork miss you, the champagne will hit you. All on your breast, I'ma lick the elixir. Your ass getting heavier, hips getting thicker. Your frame's getting better now that I am in the picture. I king, I do a die king. I take purple to the head like a Viking. Tyson the Gypsy King Fury. Looking good. He looking good. I may have to say, hold on. <laughs> I was saying Usyk was going to win. How light he looks on his feet. He looks like back in the day Fury, right? The one with the flies buzzing around the ear and he kept moving his head around. That Fury right there. Pop, faint. Oh, shit. He's going to try to box with Usyk. He's already naturally bigger than him anyway. He has to move with Usyk. He knows better. He knows better. Training to go 12 boxing with Usyk, because I'll tell you this, that big stomach, it, <laughs> big tummy, <laughs> Tyson Fury with the bad legs and all that shit, Usyk beat the hell out of him. Fury knows better. That's dope. Let me see. Uh, the real McCoy. Hold up. Uh, we didn't see ish about the Mexican mob doing anything to Bivol. I did. Wait, let's not look over the boxer uh, because we want to see uh, two knockout artists hit and not get hit moving on your toes, pure bibble. No, 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 no. Uh, the real McCoy, that's not what we're saying. That's that's definitely not what I'm saying. I want to see David Benavidez versus who wins, all right? But if better BF were to beat Bibble, that right there would definitely what I would want most because number one, better BF beat Bevel, so I want Benavidez versus the best fighter. And number two, we haven't heard anything about Better BF and Benavidez. Right? So I, it's so odd 
that I just want to see it. But David Benavidez versus Bilbo, it's not like I wouldn't want to see it, especially if Bilbo were to whip better BF his ass. You're, I thought the question was what I would prefer. It doesn't mean that I hate Bilbo versus David Benavidez, right? Unless I can't prefer one or, or the other, the real McCoy. Can I prefer one? And that's why. Let me see. Flex on them, bro. Haney and Garcia tickets prices are kind of crazy. Uh huh. For a guy who uh might show up, he said he will. Uh, there is no talk of the undercard. He said that he will show up. There is a talk of the undercard. Look at the press conference. They had a, they were talking about the undercard. Um, but he said he's going to show up, and the prices are crazy. They're doing one hell of a job on the lead up. Um, Ryan Garcia, whatever he's doing outside of the ring is kind of like. You know, it's translating pretty good on ticket sales. All right. Uh, let me see. Alicia uh, Bumgarner. Lord have mercy, Biz. You know, that's a beautiful warrior. <laughs> let me see. Thanks uh, for the great boxing show. Thank you so much. I was hoping that I was doing well. I'm a little foggy upstairs because I haven't gotten enough sleep. But we're still going to work. That's why I kind of tripped over my words a little bit. I'm not as fresh, you know, mentally because I, I, I lost some sleep last night. But let's move forward. Let's look at some more training. Yeah, yeah. Hell no, nah, I don't want to be famous. But when I'm done, you're going to know what my name is. Bull counter to the brain where my aim is. Be more of the city I'm claiming. Be more is my rest haven. Be more than you I ain't playing. Be sure I'm going to be more than B4 hardcore. I'm saying I'm a tank. I got bank. I'm a rank. You will plank when I crank your jaw bone. What you think? You won't swim. You will sink to the body with them bodies. The last guy went blind. This next guy loved bodies. Damn that hurt, damn that hurt, damn that hurt, let's go to work. Hit the Tyson bell. Listen, I know you guys saw what I saw. The only problem I see, and listen, DJ, uh, that's my DJ, trainer of the year, he knows more than I do. I'm just talking about just from my perspective. It seems like he's right there, ain't he? Kind of fighting a little short. It seems like he's right there. Now that Tank is going to catch with uppercut and, and knock so many Boogers out his nose. He his sinuses be clean for the rest of his life. All right. Seems a little. Seems to be fighting right, right down there. That's that's my only. That's that's my only concern. You know, Tank is about four eleven, so he was right there with his ass. That's my only shit. I wish he kind of. I don't know, but that looked like he <laughs> looked like the, the boogers, just boogers. <laughs> But everything else looked great. Everything else looked great. Oh, let me see. Damn, that hurt. LOL. Love it. Yeah. Yeah. Hit the Tyson bell. <laughs> okay. So let's move on. Let's move on. BS100. That was my only problem. Let's move on. Anthony Joshua, Francis Nagano. They had their grand arrivals yesterday. They'll be fighting Friday. You guys know that we'll be calling the fights, especially Joseph Parker versus John. That's amazing. If Joseph Parker beats him, he'll mess around and be number one on our fighters list, right? <laughs> he'll surpass everybody. He'll be number one on our fighters list if he beat Jean. I mean, just fighting him is enough. He can lose. He'll still be at three on our fighters list. But Anthony A.J. Joshua, speaking beautifully, they asked him. I think it's Radio Raheem. Somebody asked him. I'm sorry if I, if I got the – if it's not Radio Raheem but asked him about credit. AJ responded to that in a magnificent way. Check out what AJ had to say about credit. You know how hard it is to get credit from boxing fans. If you do knock out and Ghana, especially early, you feel like you'll get the credit deserved for that win. I, I'm not focused on any credit from anyone. Never have, never will. It's all about me. As I said, I enjoy fighting, and that's all I do it for, you know. Um, something within me, I can't explain it, but... I just feel like I've got a great opportunity to travel the world, express myself through this beautiful sport that I love and uh, it challenges me, but I learn so much about myself and that's all I care about is how far I'm going to push myself in this. The war room. Our message from the war room is right in line with the thoughts of a warrior, a martial artist. Credit, screw credit. What martial arts is about, 
combat sports, fighting, boxing is a martial arts. Don't 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 get it twisted. What martial arts is about is reaching your level and then surpassing it. Credit, forget credit. I'm just trying to reach my level and then surpass it. I think my dog, I, I got some people fixing the house, so my dog's barking. But that's the perfect response in the Tyson Bell. That's what we've been saying. That's why we got the fighters list. Forget undefeated. Who gives a shit? Everybody is going through a martial arts journey. Combat sports, you're going through your journey, but you're just doing it in public. And we're watching you and we're grading you. But for the fighter, it's just about his journey. It's not about being undefeated. It's about your journey. Hit the Tyson bell. Hold on, hold on. Let me see what you have to say. Let me see what. Oh, DJ. DJ. Uh, that's my DJ. He gave 20 show bills to adults. Damn memberships. Hold on, my brother. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You know I got a song for you. So DJ spin the sound. <laughs> I got to leave in a minute because my dog's acting crazy. I'm thinking that Tank versus Flank may look like Crawford versus Spence. Uh-oh. Who was Spence? Tank? I, 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 love the, I love the fight. I love the fight. I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Flank, Flank is one hell of a fighter. All right, he's just on it up and down. He's up and tank, you know what you're gonna get. All right, he just he whip your ass. If he ain't injured, your ass whip. All right, hit the Tyson Bell. Let's move forward. Let's move forward. Let's move forward so I can end this show because my dog's acting insane. Let's move forward. Hold on. Matter of fact, before we move forward, let me stop my dog. Hold on. temporary <laughs> i know my dogs i know my dogs it's just temporary they're gonna be quiet temporarily they're gonna light back up okay but let's talk about anthony aj joshua francis naganu and what they said about technique and fighting spirit at the end of the day textbook fighting is one thing but passionate fighting is another and i'm going in there to be relentless the fight is in our is in our head it's not about the techniques it's not about this i have seen like the best technician in the combat sport that are not really a great fighter because they don't really have a fighting in in them you know you can have all the techniques but if you don't have fighting in you it's going to be hard for you can we expect a knockout from you yeah you can yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. can you can we ex expect a knockout from you yeah you can i'm putting a bag on my bookie Everybody go to my bookie, add showbiz to the promo code. I'm going to put a bag on AJ to knock out Francis Nagano. They both said technique is one thing, but the fighting spirit is another because you don't play boxing. You don't play boxing. Hit the Tyson bell. Technique is one thing. Fighting spirit is another. You don't play boxing. You, you got Nagano going to sleep, AJ? Put a bag on my bookie. That's what we've been doing. We've been winning. Also, the Fantasy Boxing League. The link is in the description box below. Chick, let them know. You're in the Fantasy Boxing League. Let's see what your predictions look like. And if you want to get a quick bag, that's this is how you do it. Hold on. Yeah, I got a, I got a lot. I got to go upstairs. I got to go upstairs. One last thing. Thank you so much, Chick. This is one last thing before I go. Who does AJ want to fight? This goes to the whole Bivol Better BF thing, what I was talking about with the real McCoy about uh, David Benavidez. Check out what AJ had to say. Who does he want to fight, Usyk or Tyson Gypsy King? But I, think, I think Usyk will win. I think Usyk will win, yeah. Who do you want to win? Um, it's a great question. It's a great question. 
probably Fury logically because it's a bigger fight. If well, that's if he fights me. He always says he doesn't want to fight, but it's a bigger fight for me down the line if he wins. But yeah, that's the only reason I'll say Fury for my own benefit, for my own selfish reasons. Everyone's selfish reasons. Everyone wants to still see that fight. So yeah, do you still want to see it? Yeah, absolutely. Good, good. The number one fight in boxing. Is it? Yeah. yeah, I think so. Yeah, man. So yeah, I think for my own selfish reasons, I'd like to see. It. He thinks Usyk beats Fury. He's been in there with him twice. But he wants to fight Tyson Fury. That's what a warrior would want to do. He fought Usyk twice already. Fury's a bigger fight. Why? Because you fought him twice already. Now, he'll fight Usyk again because he's in line to fight him. Well, undisputed. But who would he prefer? For Fury to win. Because that'd be... The fighter he hasn't fought. It'd be a bigger one, too. Pause. AJ's answering the questions very right. Let me see. Uh, yo, Biz, do you think Ryan's situation affect pay-per-view buys since people uh, know he's not the best Ryan? Yeah, in a positive way. Because most people don't know shit about boxing. Most people just want to see a disaster, too. Most people just like, they like the drama. So people will buy it just to see the disaster, right? It's the reason why we like combat sports. We like the violence, the disaster. Nothing is better than the knockout. What they say, the only thing bigger than a hero is the hero who dies trying. Ask Tupac. So... The fight will be bigger because people want to see the disaster. Thank you guys for showing up and showing out. I got to see what's going on with my dogs upstairs and handle handle my house. All right, hand. Do I got to get the fofo? Do I got to get the magnum? <laughs> Thank you guys for showing up and showing out. Show biz little don't. Tomorrow we have the hump day. We'll be talking some more about uh, what happens Friday, Thursday. You know, I got the video. We have the facts Friday, which is going to be. Uh, the fight night. I'm not sure if I do a facts Friday in the morning since we got the fight night. Um, and do we have some uh, fights to call on Saturday? Solid biz. Thank you so much. I'm sorry, you guys, if I was a little, you know, kind of like foggy and I didn't get much sleep. You know what I mean? But I uh, hope you guys. So I hope I didn't trip over my words, say the wrong names and stuff like that, because I'm about to go back to bed. All right. After I take care of my house. Thank you guys for showing up and showing out. Show biz. Little adult. I'm out. Huh? Oh, my goodness.